Hello and welcome to another episode of Chamber News. I am Steve Massinio, President and CEO of the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce. And today's episode is brought to you by OK International Group here in Marlboro. Selecting and implementing the right packaging equipment systems for your packaging line can be a challenging process. OK International can assure you that, with their team of experts, you can select and receive the optimal solution for your company's packaging line automation needs using one of their customized end-of-line packaging solutions. With almost 40 years of experience, thousands of machines in service, and geographic reach to over 60 countries, OKI is the proven worldwide leader in complete bulk packaging systems and continuous heat sealing bag technology. In Chamber and Community Business News, the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce is excited to team up with the Marlboro Economic Development Corporation, the Solomon Pond Mall, several business representatives from local companies representing various industries, including finance, healthcare, hospitality, life sciences, manufacturing, municipalities, and technology to put on the second annual School to Business Expo at the Solomon Pond Mall this Thursday from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. The School to Business Expo provides seniors from six area school districts the opportunity to learn about career opportunities available to them in each of the in industries mentioned. We expect close to 200 high school seniors to attend this year's event. I'd like to thank Mark Vidal, Community Outreach Manager at AMSA and head of our School to Business Committee, Meredith Harris, Meredith Harris, sorry Meredith, Executive Director at the Marlboro Economic Development Corporation, Mark Willard, Marketing Director at the Solomon Pond Mall, and all of the principals and administrators at the six participating school districts, and of course all of the industry representatives who will be sharing their knowledge with the students in attendance and for helping us put on the School to Business Expo this year. In other news, the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors is getting closer to hiring my replacement as president and CEO. I'm hopeful they'll be able to decide on and make an offer to whoever they choose by the end of this week. We'll certainly keep you posted. Our ambassador of the month this month is Catherine Dressel once again. That is two months in a row for her. Catherine, Catherine not only is a rock star ambassador, but is also a rock star member as she is, continues to play a very active role in our chamber as an executive committee member, board member, and school to business committee member. Thank you for all you do for the chamber, Catherine. We really appreciate it. This week's Chamber Spotlight features my interview with Jesse Laughlin from Blue Mountain Painting. In the video, Jesse discusses the painting process and, can, and his commitment to quality using brands like Benjamin Moore. Please take a few moments to view the video by clicking the link below uh, to learn about Blue Mountains residential and commercial painting services in the Metro West area. Thank you. I would like to take a moment now to thank, thank all the new members who joined the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce so far this month. These members include Build a Party, Cigars and More, the UPS Store in Marlboro, and True V LLC. I would also like to thank all of our current members who renewed their membership for 2024 in the last month. I'd also like to remind all of you not to forget to check out our upcoming events for the rest of this month and early April by visiting our website and going to the events page. We still have a few remaining slots available for our next Women's Professional Networking Group meeting on Thursday, March 28th from 11.30 to 1 p.m. So if you haven't done so already, you might want to sign out, sign up now or you'll miss out. Finally, as this is the last episode of Chamber News that I'll be filming before I leave my position here, I would like to thank all the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce members for their support and participation throughout the last year. I truly enjoyed the opportunity that was presented to me in leading the Chamber and supporting the entire membership base over the last year. I will miss all of you and wish you all the greatest success in your businesses moving forward. I'm very confident the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce will continue to be an exceptional resource for you and your businesses. Thank you all again, and take care.